I want to talk to you guys a little bit about placing an image, linking to it, and then updating the image uh, in Illustrator here, but you know, ultimately going to Photoshop to edit it. So this is in Illustrator, obviously. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Place, and Place an Image. Uh, there's no shortcut. You guys can add your own if you want. If you go under Edit, Keyboard, Shortcuts. I'm going to grab an image here. Now if you place, let's say, Photoshop Files, if you turn off Link over here and deselect it, rather, you're going to embed it. And that gives you some options, some Photoshop placement options, which, you know, you, you I, I used to be like, well, why don't I see them this time? Or why do I see them that time, this dialog box? But if you link to the image, you won't see much. It'll just put the image on the page. Okay, that's what I want to do. So if I click Place, puts it out there. What I want to do now is I want to edit it. So let's say I want to change the color, I want to change the size, whatever. So you can see that it's a linked file right up here, right? So we're in Illustrator. We can see what the resolution is, etc. I could come to the edge here, the corner, and just resize this thing. But the problem is, it's kind of hard for me to tell how big it is, okay? <laughs> how much I've changed it. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to edit the original image. Go to Photoshop for that. So I'm going to come out here and edit original. You guys can see there's 50 ways to do it. There's a button up here. The way I tend to do it is I Option or Alt, double-click on it. So typically that'll open it up in something like Photoshop or, you know, whatever. There we go. Now I'm in Photoshop, and what I'd like to do is make, uh, I don't know, some kind of change. So I'll make a color change or something like that, right? So I'll go into, let's say, Adjustments. I'll do a, I don't know, whatever. Hue Saturation, I'll change the hue of it. And that looks awesome. There we go. I'll save it. I can close it if I want or not. I'll go to Illustrator again. And we get this, right? It says, okay, in Illustrator, well, something's updated. Would you like to update it? Yes. That's obviously because we linked to it, okay? Now... What about changing the size? Let me go back to Photoshop. I'm going to Option Double Click or Alt Double Click on Windows. And I want to change the size of this thing. So I'll come up to Image, Image Size. And maybe I want to make it uh, a little bit smaller. I'll say 300, or excuse me, three, 3 inches for a width, right? I'll click OK. I'll save it. We're all good. I'll go back over to Illustrator. OK, something needs to update. I'll click Yes. What? I mean, what? <laughs> This happens all the time in Illustrator, you guys. I mean, it's just, it used to drive me crazy. I was like, well, are you kidding me? Do I, I have to replace it? So what I used to do is I would delete the image, go up to File, Place, come to Header 2 again, make sure it's linked, and replace it, and there we go. There's an easy way to do this, you guys. So if you make an image change, let's say a size change, and you want it to change when you actually change the size in Illustrator, if I come up top, I'm going to see the linked file up here. I'll click on the name here, and I'll see Placement Options. Clicking on Placement Options. Right now, it's actually preserving all the transformations we did in Illustrator. Okay, What I want to do is something called File Dimensions. If I choose File Dimensions, it's actually going to change when I change it in Photoshop. It'll change it in Illustrator. Now, you got to be careful with this because there is a bounding box here, it's called. If I, don't, if I want the image to show up and I don't care about this stupid bounding box for the moment, I just leave it as is and, and do my, you know, go to Photoshop and edit it. But if you choose Clip to Bounding Box, it's going to cut off part of the picture as it gets bigger. So I don't want to do that. So I'll, I'll turn that off. And you guys can also align it, you know, have it grow depending on, you know, what uh, anchor point you guys have selected here. I'll click OK. Now let me go edit it. So I will Alt on Windows, Option, Double Click. And sometimes it just doesn't want to, there we go. All right, I'll make a change uh, to the size again. So go to Image, Image Size. This time I'll go a little smaller. Eh, you know what? I'll actually go a little bigger. I'll go four inches. Click OK. Save it. Go back over to Illustrator. It's going to say you have some changes here. I'll click Yes. And there we go. You guys are going to find that it will now update if you change the Photoshop file, which is amazing. It'll also update the PPI, things like that. And to be able to see what size it is, this is kind of a little extra tip, I guess. You guys can find this under the links panel, or if you come up top to the control panel, you'll see link information, and you guys will see what it's scaled at. There's the percentage right there. So if you want to change that, you can. If you just go to transform or something like that, you can get it done. But anyway, you're going to see the bounding box there. If we had selected clip to bounding box, as a matter of fact, let me show you that. I'll come up to the linked image name again. Go to placement options. File dimensions are selected or selected. Clip to bounding box. If I click OK you guys could see what it would do. So it would always keep the image bounding box the same, but the image would be, get bigger or smaller depending on, you know, how what we did in Photoshop. So 
Anyway, hopefully that didn't bring up more questions. <laughs> but this is something that I just I had to get through. It just drove me nuts forever. So that's working a little bit with linked images inside of Illustrator.